Today we're going to discuss the contentious issue of the relationship between Andrich thresholds and category disordering. We're going to do this with just a very simple data set. Two items. And in this data set, there are three persons. The high performer, the middle performer, and the low performer. They're anchored. One logit, zero logits minus one. On the ordered item, the responses are two, one, zero. And on the disordered item, the categories have been reversed, zero, one, two. So we will expect that when we run this very simple WinSteps control file, this is all you need in WinSteps or Ministep to do this experiment. You don't need a 50-page academic paper. And what happens when you run this WinSteps control file and analyze the data and then look at the output? Well, here's what we see for the probability curves for the item with ordered categories. It has ordered Andrews thresholds. Yes, exactly what we expect. Those are the probability curves for 0, 1, and 2 that we're looking at. And now, let's see what happens with the item with the disordered categories. It's the same picture. Oops. Now that surprised us, didn't it? That's true. That's because estimation takes place based on the count of observations in each category, not based on who made those observations. And so when we summarize the fit statistics and the other details for each of the two items, we see each of the items has three observations, a 0, 1, and 2. The observed average is what we expected it to be because of the three people we chose. And the big differences are the fit statistics and the fact that the observed averages are disordered. So it's not the average thresholds that are disordered, it's the observed averages that are disordered, and the fit is worse. Thank you.